Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about workspaces here in Illustrator, mainly how to become more efficient in your graphic design work. So what are workspaces? They are all the different windows and things in your Illustrator document or your just Illustrator program in general. So see all these windows over to the right? They all have labels like swatches, brushes, symbols, properties, libraries. On the left-hand side, we've got the toolbar. We also have different projects set up here. There's a little peek of something I'm working on. All all of this is set up up in the window drop down down to workspace and check that out I have a custom workspace set up keep in mind I haven't completely made this the most efficient workspace ever I just wanted a couple windows open on the right hand side that I am used to having open and I use all the time back to the video this is the pixel and bracket workspace but there are all these other default workspaces that you can choose from. So for instance, the basic default one you just installed at Illustrator is Essentials. Now Essentials, if you've moved it around, can actually change, even though I clicked on that. So what we really wanna do to make sure we get the Essential Essentials workspace is reset it. So if we go back up to Window, down to Workspace, we can reset Essentials. And that's gonna reset everything. In case you've actually made some edits, you notice on the left-hand side there, there was a toolbar I had added. Well, we reset essentials. So this is back to the actual default. It's kind of like doing a little format of your computer. Now, if we go back up to window, there are lots of different workspaces. Like I said, there's the essentials classic workspace gives you that bar up at the top. Uh, you can choose any one of these that you find works best for you. Here's a typography workspace. It just switches some of these different windows over on the right hand side. Now we have like the character panel and the paragraph panel, etc. I like to work with the tools and the dialog boxes that I use the most. And so whatever that is for you and your workflows, you should set up your workspace just like that. And you can do that by clicking on any of these dialog boxes, or if you don't see them, you can go to window and look, all of these are the different dialog boxes. If I use gradients all the time, I'm gonna pop out the gradient dialog and I'm gonna drag it to a spot where the blue line shows that I can actually dock it into all of my different dialog boxes. So we can dock it here, anywhere we want, just like that. There's gonna be little arrows where we can sort of minimize that to just an icon to where I can click on it and pop it out, or I can maximize it to see it all the time. So you can move all of these different areas of your working document around and create the workspace that you want. And then once you have that, you can go back up to window down to workspace and hit new workspace. And that's basically gonna save we're gonna call this the tutorial, true tutorial. Wow, guys, I can't, I can't, I can't type. Tutorial work space. Hit okay. Now we have the tutorial workspace set up, which is just this crazy bad workspace, but we can go up to window down to workspaces and now that's where this is here and I can go back to my pixel and bracket workspace just like that. Now, if I made an edit here, like I accidentally undocked my tool panel and brought it over here, or maybe I did it on purpose, I can go back up to window workspace and reset my pixel and bracket workspace to go back to what I originally had it. Now, let's take a look at what I got here and why I have the different windows open. So if I'm looking over on the right-hand side, I do like having the properties panel open here because a lot of times when you're working with different objects, like if I just create a square out here, there's all sorts of different properties that I wanna change over here on the right hand side. Some of them I use over here, some of them I might use over here, like the fill and stroke. I like changing the color just by double clicking on this and uh, selecting my color, mainly because I really like this color picker. And if I double click over here, it doesn't really do much except for take me to my swatches. So if I do have swatches over here, I can kind of put them in here. But guess what? I have the swatches panel open up top here because if I'm working with different swatches, I do want them to be super quickly accessible up there in the top. I don't want to go hunting for the swatches panel. Now underneath the swatches panel, of course, is that color panel. So I can do the same thing here by double clicking. Now there is some redundancy here, right? I can double click on this side. I can double click on that side. There's actually a good reason to have that. The reason is if my mouse is on one side of the screen or the other side of the screen. If I just selected that rectangle tool, I created a quick square and I'm closer to the left hand side of the screen, it's going to save me time to go to the left hand side and double click on something then the right hand side. And I know it's like a fraction of a second, but guys, if you are serious about this being a career and you're looking at decades 
of graphic design work, you're actually gonna be saving yourself hours and days of time just by putting the different panels in the spots that you want them in your document. Days. You could do more design work or you could go on a vacation. Days of time. All right, now back to this, let's take a look. I like the transform panel a little bit, I think. I'm not really sure what that's doing here to be honest, but definitely the alignment panel. That one is one that I wish popped open better over here. Sometimes it does, but if I have a group of objects, I'm pretty sure it does still. Okay, cool. Well, the alignment panel, maybe they finally fixed that. In the early days of this new properties panel, the alignment panel didn't always pop up when I wanted it to, so I just wanted to see it. And plus, I still have to click on this little ellipse here to actually get all the different alignment options that I want. So I'd rather just have the alignment panel popped open. And then of course I have layers, which I almost never use, but there are times that I use it. So I got the layers and I can dock those somewhere and I probably would dock them generally at the bottom of my properties pane. I'm having some issues here, people. I'm looking for this little double ended arrow right there. That was difficult, but we got it. And then I've got the properties and I got libraries. Sometimes I'll use libraries for different logos and colors, but this is kind of my quick little setup. It's nothing fancy. I haven't put a lot of time into this, but maybe I should because I've probably lost out on days, days of time, you guys. I could have gone on a vacation. I could have done more design work. I could have done more tutorials. Looks like it's starting to get a little bit lighter outside, so let's end this video. It was way longer than I thought, but that is how you can move your different panels around and save your different workspaces. And by the way, just, just always go up to window. If something's missing, you can't find something, just go up to window and go down to that panel. Thanks for watching everyone. By the way, if you want to download some free project files and other things, why did I say it like that? You can go to my website and sign up for the Pixel and Bracket Vault or unlock the Pixel and Bracket Vault, become a free member and I've got a bunch of project files in there from a lot of different tutorials that I've done and I'm gonna keep putting in files. So the link for that is in the description. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bum, 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 bum. Recording. Recording. All right, guys, here we go. Here we go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sub 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 subscribing. Thanks for subscribing. And I'm just going to end this. See ya.